Scarlet Blaze. Shifting History. Five months have passed since the attack on the Emperor, and 1182 nears a close. Though each army schemes, the battle maps barely change. But now, history is about to resume its course. Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations to come. Then why do you look so conflicted? I'm not conflicted, Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Hey, I've got feeling unprepared down to a science, so... Let's say we help each other out. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of Murden. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this. But it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. I must admit, I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow it up. You surely jest. You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Lester's most valiant general is so well-versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm afraid the Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? I'm certain you'll find the challenge to your liking. Is this your first time meeting, by the way? It is. Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester. But is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would be a shame to get blood all over this nice paperwork. Yes. All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. Well, let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Lester Alliance, I, Claude Von Regan, hereby swear this pact. Lester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle, I, Edelgard von Hressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. Right then, we've got plenty of bright new faces here at the round table today. 
First, a brand new Count ruling Gloucester. And Duke Goneril and Count Ordelia have decided that their heirs will sit for them. Unfortunately, Lawrence and Lysithia can't join us due to their responsibilities in the Imperial Army. I called you here to give you notice. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphnel will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. You're staying behind, right, Holst? Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity, and we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high, but of course they won't. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. And so, the Alliance has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the Kingdom from the East. At the same time, we will resume our invasion from the West using Orion Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the Kingdom's Lords one by one as we work our way toward Blathen. News of the Pact will doubtless have spread throughout the Kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst, and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the King. Lately, we have been scrambling to reorganize, dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros and negotiating a pact with Lester. And during that time, the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the King has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Still, it's us and the Alliance against him, which means we've got the advantage. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose. It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. Oh, I find it all so very draining. Whatever our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Linard. And perhaps no person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear, even if the thought is all in their head. In the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrick Mock to kill him. From the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Our Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Don't worry about it, Petra. With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. <sighs> this almost seems so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. In any case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. 
Keep a vigilant eye out for both yourselves and each other. That is all. Dismissed. Guess things aren't gonna be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. with this power. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of Kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But... They strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. 
If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could, but that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Bor. Are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way, so I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it. But there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that, I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. Right. Army will soon be knocking at our door. Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I've no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. Excellent. 
You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Geralt. I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. I appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Empire is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Do you think this might work? Indeed. I'm ready to be battling. Let's earn our keep. I'll paint us a path to victory. Messing around, we want to win. 
won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You want to fight is your equal. I'll get there soon. Just you wait. This place won't be a problem anymore. Don't mind if I do. You got my back? Let's wake up. Wipe them out! I'll follow your lead! I've got you now! I'm going 
glad we managed to pull through. Very well. There's no time to waste. The fight starts now. I will be doing my part for victory. Yeah, we can win this. Hours. We've got you. You can count on me. I'll do my best. I'm on it. No, just leave it to me. Begin.
This place won't be a problem anymore. Bring it down! It's no use. We can't gain any ground. But how? This is just the beginning. I'm certain the future will forge is bright. You can count on... Don't mind if I do. They swap more closely. bitter than blackest coffee. Of course I did. I'll give it an honest attempt. Is it my turn? Watch Take a breather. <laughs> Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. A fine hit. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I'm not going to die yet. A feat of much impressiveness. Give them no quarter. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. Not the long I can hold up. Help me, please. You're done! Sorry. I gotta fall back. <laughs> That's no surprise. I work much harder than anyone else. We'll soon arrive at Baron Mateus's lands. Once we claim them, all of Western Fargus, roughly one-third of the kingdom's territory, will be under the rule of the Empire. House Mateus was demoted from a viscountcy to a baronage for their part in some sort of revolt. The current Baron Mateus, whose father was the previous lord, is hardly the most loyal subject of the crown. Removing him from the picture should be a simple matter. However, the kingdom has sent the Baron help in the form of the former Duke Fraldarius, who they call the Shield of Fargus. So long as he holds authority here, we won't be able to break their soldier solidarity. Rodrigue is Felix's father, right? That's unfortunate. 
Don't get me wrong, I'll fight whoever I need to. It just feels like we're pitted against familiar faces every time we turn around. And that isn't all. Our reports indicate the enemy has hired Gerald's mercenaries. We know from personal experience how formidable those foes can be. The Ashen Demon again. Say, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about that exactly? We should probably just steer clear of them entirely. There's no point throwing our lives away against an opponent we can't beat. All we've got to do is take out Baron Mateus or this shield of Fargus, and those mercenaries will scatter to the wind. Oh, come now. You're strong enough to defeat the Ashen Demon if you want. I know you are. But if this is how you'd like to handle it, I'll still be in your corner helping you every step of the way. I possess skill at leading surprise attacks, and Bernadetta would be making a good decoy. If we are all working together, we will reach our goal with much ease. I get a say in this whole decoy plan, right? I was only saying a fact, not asking you to be doing it. Please accept my apologies. Oh, okay. I hope you plan to leave some of the enemy for me. You are all so skilled. I often feel like the fifth wheel on a well-crafted carriage. Don't downplay your talents, Ferdinand. You give us courage every time we step on the field. I'm lucky to be surrounded by so many gifted leaders. With all of you at my side, there is no limit to what the Empire might achieve in the years to come. Victory to the Empire! Yay! Come on, Arval. Seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. Last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. I stand ready. Our enemy has placed Baron Mateus front and center. While Gerald's mercenaries are over with the main position. We have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodrigo. Anything beyond that, however, requires careful consideration. Take time to ready a path to the shore. 
Until then, let us begin by attacking the plane to the west. The Empire's here! No! I'm too young to die! Now there's a pitiful man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride! Shore up your defenses! Do not permit the enemy to break through! There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Right then. Let us go to work. If we take down the stronghold surrounding him, we might convince him to lay down his arms. Lose your arrows! Kill anyone who dares approach me! The enemy is clearly desperate. Oh, the projectile will admittedly slow us down. <laughs> who are these wimps? I will capture this stronghold. shames the rest of us. I must find a way to distinguish myself. Continue to the northwest and finish that path to the shore. I knew the Baron wasn't up to the task. We'll have to forestall the enemy ourselves. Move out and attack. hidden sorcery engineers in this area who are preparing a fearsome magic that will lay waste to our foes. It will not take long for the enemy to spot our engineers. We should stage a rescue if we can. There is not a question of can. Only a map. Leave this to me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. We intend to use their talents to ravage the battle with devastating magic. Their absence will completely alter the tide of battle. Rescuing them should be our top priority. Send 
your lightning crashing across the battlefield. Sounds like a job for a Much close, is it my turn? Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Oh, if I must. Oh, if I must. If my assistance is needed. Here I go. No mistakes. Now it is my turn. You can count on me. I'll turn. It's my turn. My turn. Take a breather. So far, so good. Though I'm prepared for something to go horrifically wrong any minute now. I'm all for exercising caution, Lynn, but could you not be such a wet blanket? Let's take it down at once. I'm swapping in. Can you make detachment from the rear? Take them out now. It's my turn. We can't afford the risk. Good. Aloise's reinforcements have arrived. Might you go help our soldiers in the Northwest, young mercenary? Consider it done. Well, couldn't hurt. My turn. Is it my turn? Take a breather. I said I'd hand them the victory, and I'm not going to back down now. He's at least semi-reasonable. If we can pin him down, I'll be nice. I'm unstoppable. Here it comes! Out of the way! You're done! Though yours is indeed a power, they won't. Yeah, right! Oh, thank you! I wish I had your strength! Please tell me you're not pointing that thing at my beautiful face. I'm tougher than I look. I've heard of you, Yuri. Perhaps we can forge a new arrangement that benefits us both. Well, when you put it that way. I guess I would prefer not to get butchered. I must stop the enemy here. We've cleared a way to the shoal. We can attack from the east now. Fine. I got you. Form a pincer and bear down on Roderick's position from both sides. I won't last long trying to hold them off from two directions. Rod Reed's in danger. I go back. Can't convince the Empire I'm worth keeping around here. Yeah. Destroy the bridge and cut the mercenaries off from the main force. The bridge. I can't get back to Rod Reed. Rod Reed has been cut off. Move in and strike before the mercenaries can rejoin us. No! This is our chance to kill the Ashen Demon. There's no one to interfere! I have
have to reach the commander as soon as possible. Take care of one backup squad and come back to this? What a mess. Rodrigue is slain and the kingdom put to rout. Will you and your mercenaries yield? I see no other choice. Victory is ours. Friends and loyal soldiers, raise your voices loud. Can I say? You got us. You rolled right over us and took out our employer. <laughs> I know when it's time to raise the white flag. Wait, that's it? You're giving up? We faced you in battle many times, only to be bested at every turn. Yeah, you've pretty much run us out of business by now. It's not easy finding new clients in the best of times. And no matter how good our reputation is, none of it matters if we can't actually win. At this rate, I'll have to stop calling myself the Blade Breaker. In that case, do you have any interest in working for us? The Empire? Hmm. It's true that your fighters and mine have waged many a bloody battle. But did you oppose us out of principle, or was it merely a business decision? Assuming you have no deep-seated animosity for Adrestia, I would welcome you with open arms. In the Empire, those with talent are given an outlet appropriate for their abilities. Yeah, you should join us. I mean, by now we all know firsthand how strong you are. And sure, there might be some folks here and there who have reservations about you fighting on our side. But they'll definitely come around once they see how dependable you are. What do you say? I doubt the Kingdom will have any jobs for us after all of this. No better time for a fresh start. I agree. What about you, Halois? It might be strange, working against your old night friends. I've already made my decision. I have sworn to follow this fine captain wherever he goes. If my old allies want to come grill me over a fire, I'll just have to make myself more obscure. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> if I don't slay my foes by the sword, I will do so by the joke. Well, I guess that's that. Just tell us when we start. I'll go talk to the group and smooth things over. You two, stay here with the client. Got it. Thanks. Understood, Captain. Our troops will also want an explanation, so we'd better get to it. <sighs>
So you're Gerald the Bladebreaker, huh? And I guess that makes you the Ashen Demon. You guys look tougher than a box of nails. No wonder we've had our hands full. Please, make yourself at home. The Imperial Army is most delighted to welcome you into its embrace. My name is Ferdinand von Eyre. You might say I am something of a leader figure around here, as I essentially hold the entire army together. Oh no! Not more strangers! Relax, Fern. It's not like you don't encounter strangers every time we take the battlefield. That's a good point. Wait, is it? Has anyone ever inspected you for crests before? Perhaps I might borrow you for a brief experiment. Are you having interest in a sword fight? I am curious to see the stuff of which you are made. Well, we sure got a lively crew here. <laughs> Get in there, kid. Let him show you the ropes. I suppose we didn't need to worry about bad blood. If anything, it would seem Her Majesty's path to victory just grew even shorter. By the way, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? Sorry about all this, Arval. I know you've only been giving me your powers because you want me to beat the Ashen Demon. Don't worry about it. It's for the best, right? For all my doomsaying, everything seems to be right as rain. Recruiting Geralt's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon was the right choice. I hope you're right. What's wrong? Feeling lost now that you don't have an enemy to chase around the countryside? I'm not lost. I know exactly what I've got to do. Win this war. I'm gonna help Edelgard and my friends usher in a new age in Fodlan. Well, any snarky follow-up for that? It's hardly the first time you've mentioned it. I suppose it's a fine goal, yes. If that's what you want, then I'll just have to help you achieve it. After all, I'm your partner in destiny. I'm here for you and you alone. Scarlet Blaze. Heroic Bloodlines.